And when that happens, when lawmakers do return from their two week COVID break, the 2021 legislative session will be turning to the home stretch. Other than education bills, there's still a lot of big ticket items to get done. Yesterday here on the 208, we checked in with Republican leadership about what their big objectives are when they return. Today, Joe Paris checked in with the Idaho Democratic leadership about their to do list to wrap up the 2021 session. Lawmakers will have significant work to finish when they return from the two week COVID pause. Idaho Democrats remain focused on accomplishing progress on the education front. Funding of full day kindergarten um, is really top of the list. Uh, this would be historic. This would be the biggest thing that's really happened in education access in decades since since half day kindergarten was created decades ago by Cecil Andrews. Um, we have the bill ready to go. I think it would have moved forward had we still had a House Education Committee, but of course they all went down with that COVID. Um, but that we really are optimistic to see go through this year. House Minority Leader Alana Rubel says another battle on the education front is making sure the Idaho lottery continues to be a part of the Powerball game. Earlier in the session, lawmakers nixed Idaho's future participation because of Powerball's plans to expand internationally. Idaho would miss out on about $14 million for education funding that is generated from Powerball sales. Democrats are working on new legislation to get Idaho back on board. Seriously, it's a real concern. Um, I think there's a bill in the works that's very similar to the first one that got killed. I think they're hoping maybe with more work on it this time. I think they were blindsided. I don't think anybody saw that bill going down. It didn't occur to them that this committee would just kill $14 million in education for really no reason. Democrats have worked for years to help better Idaho's foster care system. Rubel believes that they are close to passing a major difference maker. The foster care extension, this is something the Democrats have been working on for a long time heading into session um, to extend the age for foster care up to 21. Right now, people get kicked out of the foster care system when they're 18, and the results are very poor um, and are much improved for those who are able to remain in the system until 21. So they don't instantly become homeless the day they turn 20, uh, 18. Um, so that's something that made it through the House and would be a really good thing if it could get through the Senate when we get back. Democrats will also focus on pushing against legislation moving through the state house, including a bill that would change the threshold for qualifying a citizen's initiative for the ballot. We really want to see a lot of things blocked, uh, most notably the attacks on citizens' ballot initiative rights and some of the voter suppression bills, um, in particular Senate Bill 1110, which would basically shut down citizen ballot initiative rights forever. There is also focus on the tax cut plan that recently passed the Idaho House. Democrats argue it is a cut disproportionately benefiting the wealthy. They also say that the use of general funds dollars for the cut could be put to better use. So we would very much like to see that blocked. If we lose that $400 million, that will lock us in at last place in education in the nation for the foreseeable future. Um, so that is a top priority to block. Attention is also on passing meaningful property tax legislation that Democrats say will help homeowners while not killing local budgets that pay for vital services. The legislature could very easily restore the indexed homeowners exemption, which would give people a big break. Um, with the legislature has refused to increase the circuit breaker in 15 years now, which is relief for low income seniors and veterans and those who really need it. Um, the Democrats actually have a lot of proposals on property taxes that would leave those vital services intact. We just haven't been allowed to get hearings on any of them. Well, that seems like a lot, Joseph. I mean, this we heard from leadership GOP leadership yesterday about the remaining length of the session. Speaker Bedke saying he expects it to be about two weeks. Do Democrats agree with this? Yeah, speaking with uh, Minority Leader Rubel, hypothetically, the legislature could get in and out of there in a week if they wanted to, if they wanted to just finish off what they're legally required to, the budgets, and then go home for the year, take up anything else next year. Realistically, Brian, as we've heard from Republicans and Democrats, there's a lot of issues that are still being worked through. It is going to be a wait and see game, but uh, that two weeks may sound like a little too short a time to get everything done. There is, again, a lot to work on when when lawmakers get back and there's still that COVID stimulus cash coming in that they're gonna have to deal with down the road as well. All right. Thank you very much, Joe.